poof! Just like that, we're in Texas. Hello and good morning everyone! <laughs> if you watch This Is How We Bingham, you know who says that. Anyways, it's a beautiful morning. Sun's rising behind me in Oklahoma. Um, it's actually fairly warm out. Warm enough that I can just be standing out here in a hoodie, which is nice. We are in Foss State Park in Oklahoma. I woke up this morning to so many bird noises. There's birds all over this park, you can see. Where are they? There's a bunch here in the water and there's a bunch in the trees. It's so nice to wake up to that sound. So now I'm just taking Charles for our morning walk and then we are going to pack up the van and we're heading into Texas. Good morning, Charles. Remember how I told you guys before that I hated having the extension cord in a cracked window because it was cool at night? So this is my solution. I cut up one of our pool noodles from at home and um, put a slice down the middle. I fed the cord in through there and then I shut the window on it and it creates a pretty, pretty good seal so that there's been no draft coming in at all from where the cord's in. And I can tell you last night was about minus 10 and we were not cold. Like we did have our heater on but there were points I had to shut the heater off because it was pretty warm. So I think that works pretty good. <laughs> this was in Charles's water bowl this morning. A perfect silicon mold of ice. <laughs> I guess it was pretty cool last night. Don't worry, I filled his water. I filled his bowl with fresh water too. You see this park has these beautiful pull through waterfront sites and then it kind of has like a tiered system. Like here you have pull through sites um, for much bigger rigs. And then up top there where you see those other shelters over here. I th believe those are more uh, tent sites. There doesn't seem to be any pads up there. It's just grass. So I guess that's what th where they keep their tenters. Very clean park. Very, very pretty. I like it a lot. I did have to register across the highway at the office and then the park is on the opposite side of the highway so just know that when you come in dumpsters everywhere just a nice quiet clean park such a nice morning. We're just walking along the beach here, Charles and I. I love watching him explore. He's such a fun travel buddy because he just gets so excited to go check out new places. Okay, people from Oklahoma or any other places that they have these things, what kind of berries are these? This is a tall bush and it's covered in these berries. I mean, they look like blueberries to me, but where I come from, blueberries grow on a tiny bush close to the ground. So are these blueberries or are they something different? Let me know, but they're really pretty. So on our walk this morning, Charles walked through a burr bush. Charles always walks through burr bushes. I don't know how, but he always seems to find the burrs. So if anybody uh, knows, if you live somewhere where there's lots of burr bushes in your dog, burrs love to stick in your dog's fur. Uh, luckily, I have a tool in the van that uh, works perfectly for getting burrs out, and it's this. I think it's called like a dematting knife. Um, it has like these curved um, blades on them, 
and this works perfectly for getting burrs out of long-haired dogs. I'm sure it will work with short-haired dogs too, but long-haired dogs seem to attract the burrs more. So, see if I can do it on Charles with one hand and show you. <laughs> Stay. So here's the burr in Charles's fur. There's the burrs right there. See if he'll let me do this. Nope, I'm gonna need two hands. I'll show you guys in a sec. Okay, so this is the hair I took off Charles. I decided to just give him a full brush since I was getting the burrs out. I think I took out nine burrs. And these burrs weren't like the burrs we have at home. These burrs were like solid and picky. The burrs we have at home are kind of dry and when, uh, they'll fall apart kind of when you go through them. These ones were not doing that. So they were a little harder to get out, but I got them all out. So he's feeling better now. Charles, no more walking through burr bushes. Got it? Okay, this freezer works really well. We're having uh, something with ground beef tonight, so I had to take a some ground beef out of the freezer so it can unthaw in the cooler, and the milk was frozen. So I had to take that out and put it in the cooler. So, so it's running right now. You can hear it's pretty quiet. I have it plugged into my Jackery, and it's pulling 49 watts from my Jackery. Uh, I have it set to be about 15 Fahrenheit. Right now it's about 18. Ah. Um, it doesn't take very long to get cold. So I'll post a link below for the freezer, but I'll talk more about it when I do the uh, van tour. Just like that, we're in Texas, <laughs> if it was only that easy. So we've been driving for about three hours. We are at Cap Rock Canyon State Park. And the reason I wanted to stay here is because there's a wild bison herd that roams through this campground. And we've already seen some bison, and it's just so cool. And this place is just gorgeous. So we just checked in here our permit that we have to stick on our vehicle and then I think we're going to take the five mile drive um it's like a scenic drive uh before we hit the camp spot I'll show you guys all the pr pretty scenery you can see around here I'm looking at this little bit of an overlook that is by the visitor center Guys, this is the first little place we pulled off. Charles, there's bison poop everywhere that Charles feels he needs to sniff all of. This place is just gorgeous. Oh my God, look at this canyon. Oh, it's so pretty. I mean, it's hard to show on the video what it actually looks like. Apparently this is an amphitheater. We already saw more bison. One that was coming, going to cross the road, but he changed his mind as we were driving. So if you're in here, be aware for the bison. Charles, it is not real. 
<laughs> Charles is growling at these steel bison statues. Look at all of the bison poop. It's everywhere. I think Charles is a little overstimulated. Okay, guys, this is like this is like a postcard. This is ridiculous. Oh my god. Somebody left their trash here. Wow. Like, sometimes I can't even believe that I get to see places like this. This is just incredible. I'm so grateful that I get to do this and see these things. Let's see what else there is on this drive. What is that, Charles? <laughs> Not scared anymore? This is Moving the Chains. Here are your hosts, Jim Miller and Pat Kerwin. All right, we're back. Moving the Chains, Sirius XM NFL Radio Line. We're at our campsite, we're all set up. This is the first time I've actually put out the rug and the outdoor kitchen. So this is our setup here. There seems to be a trail here that leads to one of the walking trails right there. And then the bathrooms, I don't know if you see it through the trees, are just right there. So I'm going to take Charles for a quick walk before the uh, Cincinnati Bengals game starts. And then I'll see you guys after that. I'll show you what I'm making for supper. Guys, another cool thing about this campground, this field behind me, behind me, 
and over here is full of prairie dog holes. They're so cute. I can see them running around in the field here. I'm gonna see if I can catch one on camera. So I'm actually just going to cheap out for supper so there's nothing interesting to show you guys. I'm heating up Corbin's butter chicken and he's going to have a butter chicken wrap and I'm just going to make myself a sandwich because our walk took a little, little longer than I thought it would and I want to get settled to watch the game. So I'm going to end this vlog here. I hope you guys have been liking this video series of Corbin and I's adventure heading west. Uh, please like and subscribe and comment and interact as much as you want to help us in the algorithm. In the meantime, I'll see you in the next adventure. Bye guys.